Did you know that coenzyme Q10 or CoQ10 is a compound your body makes naturally but is also found in foods? It's a bit like a superhero playing a critical role in energy production within our cells. But that's not all, folks. CoQ10 also moonlights as an antioxidant, shielding our cells from damage. It's a vital player in maintaining the health of our heart, muscles and other organs. So, it's clear that CoQ10 is crucial for our health. But what happens when there's a deficiency? Welcome, nutrition navigators. Now, imagine you're feeling unexplained, persistent fatigue that doesn't improve with rest. Could it be a sign of CoQ10 deficiency? It's a possibility. CoQ10 is a crucial compound produced by our bodies and found in our diets that plays a pivotal role in energy production within our cells. But how can you tell if you're deficient? Well, aside from the chronic fatigue, you might experience muscle weakness. This isn't your ordinary post-workout fatigue. We're talking about constant aches, cramps and a general sense of weakness. And here's a curveball. Gum disease. Yes, you heard that right. CoQ10 supports gum health, so inflammation or bleeding gums might be a sign of a deficiency. So if you've been feeling more tired than usual, your muscles are constantly aching or your gums are giving you grief, these might be early signs of a CoQ10 deficiency. If you've noticed these symptoms, don't ignore them. But let's delve deeper into what might happen as the deficiency progresses. Now picture this. You're finding it harder to concentrate. Your muscles seem to take longer to recover after workouts and you're often short of breath. Could this be due to CoQ10 deficiency? As CoQ10 deficiency progresses, you might find yourself grappling with brain fog. This is when you face difficulty concentrating or remembering things. CoQ10 plays a critical role in brain function and a deficiency might be the culprit behind that cloudiness in your thoughts. Next, is your post-workout recovery time slowing down? CoQ10 is essential for energy production within your cells. Without enough of it, your muscles may take longer to recover after a strenuous workout. You might also experience shortness of breath. A CoQ10 deficiency can weaken your heart muscle, making it harder for it to pump blood. This could lead to breathlessness, even from minor exertion. In severe cases, CoQ10 deficiency can contribute to heart problems, including heart failure. These symptoms can be quite concerning, but there are other potential signs of COQ10 deficiency you should be aware of. Have you ever wondered if your frequent headaches, nerve pain or mood changes could be linked to COQ10 deficiency? There's a budding field of research exploring these connections. For instance, some individuals report fewer migraines after incorporating COQ10 supplements into their daily regimen. Likewise, nerve pain or neuropathy is another area of interest. Some studies suggest CoQ10 may offer some relief for nerve-related discomfort. And as for mood changes, while the link still requires further exploration, there's a potential association between low CoQ10 levels and a higher risk of depression. Now let's delve into some additional considerations. If you're on statin medications for cholesterol, you should know that these can deplete your CoQ10 levels. It's a bit of a double-edged sword, isn't it? But fret not. There's more to the story. Certain rare genetic conditions can impair CoQ10 production. And it's also worth noting that CoQ10 production naturally declines with age. Yes, just like fine wine, we're all getting better with age, but our CoQ10 production, not so much. So if you're experiencing several of these symptoms, it's a good idea to have a chat with your healthcare provider. They can test your CoQ10 levels, discuss potential causes, and go over treatment options with you. Remember, your body is like a symphony and each part plays a vital role. It's important to listen to your body and consult with your doctor if you notice these symptoms. Now, let's wrap things up. So, we've learned a lot about coenzyme Q10 deficiency today, but what's next? If you find yourself nodding along to several of these symptoms, it might be time to have a chat with your healthcare provider. They can run tests to check your CoQ10 levels and discuss potential causes along with treatment options. Remember, Knowledge is power, but action is the key to change. So don't ignore these signs. Your health is your wealth, and it's time to invest wisely. Now, if you found this information helpful, do us a favor, will you? Give that thumbs up button a little nudge. It lets YouTube know that this content is valuable. And while you're at it, why not drop us a comment? We'd love to hear from you. And if you haven't already, do subscribe to our channel. We've got plenty more insightful content heading your way. 
Thank you for joining us today to learn about coenzyme Q10 deficiency signs you shouldn't ignore. Please hit the thumbs up button right now to let YouTube know this content is appreciated. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. This is your Nutrition Navigator signing off.